Rare photographs of excavations at the Greek island of Delos from the 19th century have come to light in a book by French archaeologists. The book sheds light on the challenges facing the scientists and other skilled and unskilled workers who unearthed ancient monuments and artefacts in one of the most important mythological, historical and archaeological sites in Greece. Its claim as the birthplace of Apollo gave Delos a strong religious identity that lasted all the way until Byzantine times. Over the centuries, Delos was a truly cosmopolitan centre with a diverse population that included people from all over the Mediterranean. But in 88 BC, the Romans razed the island to the ground, a calamity Delos would never recover from. The French School of Athens in 1873 sent archaeologists to begin work on excavations on Delos. Up until the First World War, the emphasis was on clearing the areas of the sanctuary zone, although the rest of the island was never neglected. From the 1920s onwards, the effort of the school members focused on the study of monuments, batches of equipment and inscriptions discovered in previous decades, and exploratory research concentrated more on the buildings than groups of monuments. Introducing channel memberships for the Lost History Channel. As YouTube continues to suppress our channel, we thought we would explore alternative revenue portals and the memberships could be a crucial tool for our survival on the platform. Become a member of the Lost History Channel and unlock access to membership-only perks like badges, emoji, and other aspects of the channel that doesn't always make it into production. Here we can share updates with our members and show little snippets of our pre-produced content before it goes public. Join one of our preloaded tiers and show your support for the channel that refuses to go away. With your support, the journey continues. Now, wait till you hear this.